Hi, I am Susan Nimende Fungadi. I work with the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries by the State Department of Fisheries. I am a Deputy Director in charge of policy and institutional framework in the Ministry. It was so exciting because usually I have challenges in deciding who my stakeholders are and whom do I need to kick out and who to come to bring in, especially because we don't we have low finances. And but I now understand it will be very easy for me. That work will not be a challenge because like uh, when we did our influence importance matrix, it came out very clearly whom I must involve. Because certain times I've been putting NGOs, but I see now they're not really, they, their impact on the ecosystem is not as big. And I think now I'm very clear on whom I should involve. The VPA was a powerful tool. It made us understand very clearly the perspectives of, from the people themselves. The, the tool was about, well, the stakeholder analysis. They had to, to bring out uh, their interests, their characterization of what they do. Like if it's a small scale of, uh, fisherman, what does he do? And what is the character? What is the interest? And, uh, and so you could find their interests are very different from what you thought. What are their challenges or their issues? They came out very clearly. And then the other thing is that from the VPA, within a short time, it takes a lesser time to understand and get quite a number of stakeholders. Unlike you visiting, where you have to go from one office to another. But okay, sometimes we also challenge sort of almost close to real life because you'd go to look for them and you find they've gone out. <laughs> or you find they're in a meeting, which is a real situation you find on the ground. So you should, we, we learned that you, can, you have to make appointments, even on the real, on the, in the real world, and uh, to know how to time yourself. Initially it was, why are we putting the papers and why are we doing this? But it, it came out, ah, this is a tool that can assist me. When it came uh, communicating to the stakeholders, when I use the Venn diagram, they also understand. They, I mean, it would be easy to explain to the policy makers in a snapshot. Mm -hmm. They don't have time. Like us, they hardly have time, the politicians. And now it would be easy. Yeah, it was an experience. And um, initially, it, would, it looked like it's quite difficult. But when we started, and my stakeholders actually, I found that the, the load was off me because the stakeholders were quite comfortable coming up with what they need to do. And uh, they actually suggested the actions, so I knew where I was going to start to put my interventions. It was much better than the scoping, uh, I mean the literature review. But the first person I got, and he talked things that I did not quite understand the English, and in addition to that, he talked what I did not expect. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't expect him to talk about water because he was not a water engineer. He was a district administrator, so I expected him to give everything, and I was like, would this tool really work? And, uh, but as I went to the second one, I started settling out. The third and the fourth, now the picture started coming out. So I found it was a good tool. I wouldn't want people to miss what I experienced um. because I also said I'll apply it in our home so that uh, where we have the policymakers not being able to go to the field, then I can bring it and show it in, a, in, a, in a my boardroom and it, they will understand the situation.